Hi, I'm Eliza, here with more Edible Science. Today we're going to talk about salt. Now if you've ever noticed, on a wintry morning when there's ice on the sidewalks, people will put salt out to help melt the ice. And that's because salt can change the temperature where water will melt or freeze. And we can use this to our advantage to make something rather delicious. We're going to create a super cold environment by adding salt to ice. And then in that super cold environment, we're going to have some cream, vanilla, and sugar. That's right, we're making ice cream. And it's pretty simple. You only need a few ingredients and a nice gallon sized bag, about halfway full of ice, and some salt. So let's get started. You'll want one cup of either half and half or heavy cream. And to that, you're going to add one tablespoon of sugar. You'll also add one and a half teaspoons of whatever flavoring you're going to use. I have vanilla, but you could use strawberry or mint or whatever suits your fancy. I like to mix it in my measuring cup before I put it into a baggie, which is where we're going to actually make the ice cream. Get that sugar kind of nicely dissolved, the vanilla or whatever flavoring you're using incorporated. And then you're going to transfer this mixture into a sandwich baggie. So I'm using a reusable one made of silicone that's a little sturdier, but any good Ziploc will work. You're going to pour your mixture in very carefully. And then you want to get a nice tight seal. So be very careful as you're sealing up that baggie. And once you get to the end, you want to push out as much air as you can. The less air, the better it's going to work. Now we're going to take this cream mixture and put it into a super cold environment to freeze it. And to make that environment, we're going to use this bag of ice, about a gallon Ziploc again, half full approximately. And we're going to add about a quarter cup of salt. That might sound like a lot of salt, but we want to make this really cold so that that cream freezes as quickly as possible. So a hefty quantity of salt. And then you're actually going to put your cream bag inside your ice bag. Kind of shake things down, make sure everything's in. And same thing, nice tight seal, pressing out the extra air. Now for this next step, you will want some gloves or oven mitts because it's going to get cold in this bag. And you're going to pick it up and shake it for six minutes. Why shake it? So it actually keeps the ice crystals in the cream nice and small so that you don't end up with big sheets of icy milk. So the shaking is very important. I'll see you in six minutes. All right, six minutes of video magic time later, here is my bag of ice cream. Now, very important, before you dive in and enjoy, you wanna rinse this, so I took it to the sink, had some cold water running, you wanna rinse the outside, as well as this little seam above the seal, because it's been in salty water. We don't want salt water in our ice cream, that would be rather gross. So, once you've rinsed it thoroughly, you can open it up and check out inside nice fluffy ice cream. You can add sprinkles, you can add chocolate syrup, you can add whatever you like. Thanks for stopping by. 